Good evening, cyber friends, or should I say good morning? It's after 12 a.m. now, Monday morning. Now, we thank God for life, health, and strength. Thank Him for as well as it is. And we also thank Him for each and every one of you. Cyber friends, you know who you are. And uh, we just, like I said, this, we come to you this morning early to give a, a shout out to uh, our youth there at Antioch Missionary Baptist Church. Giving a big shout out to the youth department, being a deacon, myself being a deacon, and I'm quite sure I speak for the rest of the deacons as well of Antioch. Um, I personally, and I know they feel the same way, uh, like to thank the youth department. We thank our sister Kathy Allen Thornton, and she's the director of the youth there. Annie y'all can you know, we just want to say that uh, we are so thankful that she worked so hard and diligently with those young people. She had three of her own kids in there as well as she have a, a, I call her an assistant, uh, Sister Courtney Murphy, Courtney Gilbert Murphy, I think that I would give her the right proper name, if I'm not mistaken, I think that Murphy's a married name. But uh, we all know that is our dear sister, the Reverend Pastor Minister, however you want to call her, Minister Shirley Gibbs' daughter. And she, uh, most of the time, she, whenever she can, she's mostly with our sister Kathy, working with the kids. She have two of her own kids in the junior choir. Well, the rest of all the members of the uh, we talk about the whole youth department. We're not picking anyone out. We just letting everybody know, giving everybody their proper status, giving their proper, giving the proper shout outs and props. In other words, that's that's what it is. In other words, give honor to whom honor is due, y'all. That's what I like. I love doing that. Give people their flowers while they can smell them. And they laying out there across that front of that church. They can't they can't smell nothing. In other words, let's, let that body's laid out there. That's all they there anyway. A shell. They're not there, but we we most of the time want to get up. We want to do all this speaking over people, telling them about how great they were, and then for why they living, you didn't never speak to them. That's no good. So we giving uh, Sister Kathy, uh, Kathy's very good to work with. Excellent. I mean, me being not only a deacon, I'm a minister of music, so I have a double portion. I work with the kids as well in the choir teaching them the best we can to do what we doing what's right and uh, Sister Kathy being their director and she have them where they need to be and she's a very 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 easy to work with me and Kathy been working together ever since I've been back home when I went back home to Antioch over four years ago or more actually I believe it was about let me see what this is 2019 it was about five years ago I think I came back in um, I believe I came back in 2015. Uh, maybe a little bit before 2015, because I think I came back around 2014. I think that's when it was, so I've been back home now about five, going on six years. And we thank God for that, but I just wanted to give the youth department a great shout out today. Uh, I interim on pastors, uh, Pastor Chris Williams, doing an excellent job. Very excellent job. We thank God for Chris and his wife, Carolyn. We thank God for both and Terrell was also coming in with uh, uh, to uh, sit in and being our first lady. Now she was up in the choir with her kids. Minister Chris, kids and everything. We enjoyed them on the last occasion. And we hoping that they will come on back. And uh, we uh, heard uh, Pastor William uh, said today that they was in a little accident. And so we praising God and thanking God that they are safe. They are doing very well. He said, uh, you know, he explained the criteria. That it was, you know, it could have been worse, a lot worse than what it was. And <coughs> we thank God, <coughs> excuse me, we thank God that they are okay. And we soliciting your prayers for the, him and his family that everything will work out. They all no, no lasting side effects from these accidents. And like I said, we have, we want to just take our hat off to the youth department for a job well done today. We had youth day, and y'all came. I was amazed to see as many 
are people that came in. We had a, a, a unusual amount of people that came in and today and uh, on a on a, such a bad day weather wise because we had tornado watches out all morning long and everything and the weather was was raining and everything but we had an amazing turnout today even when it wasn't in it, we we didn't have that many people when it was fair weather here not too many months ago and so i was very amazed at the turnout we like to think uh matter of fact i don't want to Get it wrong, but I think we had uh, Mount Vernon. Uh, we had some. We had some some uh, uh, youth from uh, from Piney Grove that did the ushering, and if I'm not mistaken, we had people from Virgil Chapel as well. May have been from some other churches. If I if I don't, I don't want to miss out any of you. But all of you that made up this morning service that, that yesterday morning now, and y'all youth day was a success because of you. We uh we didn't uh we didn't bring we didn't have the word preached to us all Mr. Chris felt like it was we were gonna we gonna turn out and let everybody get back home to try to get them out of the bad weather in which we thought was coming. You can't never predict the bad weather, y'all can't. But nevertheless we thank God that there was no bad weather, no real, real bad weather, no tornadoes touched out as far as we know in this area. But nevertheless, Minister William felt the need to let us out and that's what we did and I t but we did let the children have their program and I can I take my hat off to Pastor Chris for doing that and I have no problem with it I thank God for that and so we just saying to all the people that had something to do with that and y'all today today we appreciate it and we thank God for you and may God bless you and keep you is my prayer and with that said, we didn't want to say to our director, Sister Captain, keep up the good work. And a uh, matter of fact, y'all Captain, Captain, make sure you tell your husband, Minister Brian, we still think about him as well. We know he can't be with us as much as he would like to right now, but that will change. Eventually, that will change, and we're looking forward to that, to have him back home where he belongs. In other words, right now, he got to do what he got to do. And we understand that, and we just, uh, we, we, well, our prayers are with him every day as he venture out. I want to say to all the youth at Antioch, keep on keeping on. Don't worry, don't give up. You're going to be talked about, I used to be a youth. I used to be a youth. It was a long time ago, but I used to be a youth, and I know, and right where you are right now, I've been there. And I know exactly, you get peer pressure, all that stuff like that, you're going to have that. Have your fun with your little friends and everything, but don't let them turn you against God. Don't let no one turn you against your service to God. Don't let nothing stop you from your service to God. Rain, sleet, or snow, don't let nothing stop you from your service to God. You try to do your job no matter what. If you are an alto, sing alto. I'm talking to you choir members now. If you are a soprano, sing soprano. If you're an alto or I mean, a baritone or tenor or bass, sing your part. Don't get in others way. If you're a bass, I don't need you to sing tenor. If you're a tenor, I don't need you to sing soprano. Stay in your lane. Be good. Obey the one that are above you. Not only your parents, but, but you obey all those that are in authority. That's, That's where I would read. In other words, when I was coming up where y'all are right now, I was taught to not to just obey the pastor. I was able to obey the entire church. Whoever that was over you, you obeyed your elders. Please do that. Y'all have been doing that. I've been watching each and every one of you. Y'all got some very, I'm talking to the ones that are y'all now. I don't know about the other church, but the youth that are y'all, I got to say this much about them. They are very, very respectful. They don't give you no back talk. I got to take my hat off to y'all. And uh, matter of fact, God knows I'm praying and hoping and trusting that that will be some more thing that we were going to try to do for y'all youth. In the days coming ahead, we're going to try to do some more things for the youth. Because y'all are the church of tomorrow. Ernest ain't going to always be here. Deacon Walker going to be gone after a while. Deacon Walker going to be around after a while. In other words, I say that because, see, all of us are traveling toward the graveyard, y'all. Whether you know it or not, we're not, we didn't come here to stay. Not in this capacity. 
But oh brother, one day, we're all going to change. When God refreshes everything, we're all going to be like we're supposed to be. And we're going to be able to do this thing without being tired, without without the hands being messed up like mine trying to get now. Uh, without being running out of breath like I'm about to be now. One day, we're going to be all on one 100%. We're going to be on all eight cylinders. We're going to be cooking with grease at that particular time when God refreshes everything and we all get together for the time. And I do believe, y'all, that if we just keep on keeping on, keep your, keep your hand in the wine and chain, after a while, by and by, when all of God's children get home, for the time. We're going to have a good time. Because one thing about it. We're going to be able to shout. And shout. And praise God. And sing. And do all this stuff. Without getting tired. We won't ever get tired. We'll be in our supernatural. God Jesus like body. Now a lot of people don't believe that. But don't worry about that. Forget the naysayers. Everybody they all this disbelief. Don't talk. Matter of fact. Try not to let that negative talk get in your mind. Let it go in one ear and not the other one. Don't listen to negative talk. You young people stay in what you are being taught right now. Whatever you're being taught by the God, God fearing people, learn and listen from them and stick with it. Don't let nobody turn you around. And I guarantee you, you won't go wrong. So with that being said, live your life. Yes, you got to live your life. You are young. Enjoy your youth. Enjoy your youth because you won't always have it. You're growing older. But then when you get up to be my age, you can look back and say, I've done at least what I could do. And I did enjoy my life to the fullest, to the best I knew how, and yet serve and honor God in it. Whatever you do, I don't care what it is, people. Don't Let me tell you something, y'all people. And I know I, I, I didn't mean to make this video this long, but every time something else come up in my spirit. I want to tell you something. Don't let people dictate to you on what God wants you to do. No, 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 no. Because people will tell you something that maybe God didn't say. Let me tell you why. In other words, if your talent, whatever your talent is, that's what you should strive for to do. Let me tell you something. I know that some of y'all like rap, but you done heard so many people talk about rap, about against it, talking about that's of the devil. No, it ain't. Listen to Deacon, Deacon Walker. Deacon Walker telling you right here. And I challenge anybody that say different. How do you know what is the devil and what is God? Now, let me tell you that. Let me, let, let me just tell you what I'm saying. Don't limit your gift relying on what other people are telling you about how it should be. There's nothing wrong with rap music. There's nothing wrong with rap. Deacon Walker, you saying that? Yes, Deacon Walker telling y'all, those of you kids that love rap, be the best one. Be the best rapper you can be. Honor God with it. Nothing wrong with it, honoring God. It's some of us saying gospel music shouldn't be saying it because we're not honoring God to the degree. I want you to honor God, whether it's the rap, R&B, country, whatever music you decide to do, honor God with it. Now, what do I mean by that? Don't compromise your biblical uptraining. In other words, uh, your producer, if y'all, those of you young people that may, you might even get a chance to get a record deal. If your talent is good enough, quite sure you will be um, noticed by That's some of them. them. That's, That's fine. But let them know, know that now there are certain things that now I'm not going to say. I'm not going to put those lyrics in it. And you can honor God. Right there in the rap community, you can honor God. It ain't got nothing to do with what you do. You can make all the money you want. Matter of fact, the more money you make, the better you're going to be off to help the kingdom. You can use your money to increase the kingdom of God. Bring in more things. Use it to benefit. Bring fine ministry that might need a PA system. Go to a church. That may need a new organ, or a new piano, or a new keyboard, or a new drum. Whatever they may need. If you got money, you can supply some of this stuff. 
That's what money. That's what money is for. But now, don't let anybody talk you against following your gift. Now, Deacon Walker telling y'all this because let me tell you, God, all gifts and talents come from God. So whatever He gave you, that's what He gave you that gift and talent for. That gift and talent is for your goal. Now I ain't gonna go into all that. I could, I could really teach that, but but I think y'all know what middle man middle man talking about. I said Deacon Walker, same thing, same thing. Don't let low-minded people try to tell you about a high road. Low-minded people don't know nothing about the high life because they're low-minded. And I ain't saying that they're, 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 they're inferior, but they're just, their mindset is different. You cannot, you don't catch eagles messing around with chickens, do you? No, because the eagle fly high, very high. It's the highest flying bird there is. But now chickens on the ground. You don't catch that. You don't catch them mixed up together. So now you want to make it real big. I'm talking about whether it be, it ain't got to be gospel. I, I'm, te I'm telling you, whatever it is, you honor God with it. And you're going to prosper if you honor God. You can't help but prosper. Some of us, and myself included, we done got on up in age now. We done got on up in age. It ain't too late for us, but we don't have the youth. We, in other words, just like the song Ray Charles sang, sang said, oh, not Ray Charles, but it was B.B. King. B.B. King said, why I sang the blues? He said, he looked in the mirror every morning. He said, he said, said, uh, he said, hey, that line, I'm trying to think how that line go. He said, I look at myself, you know what you're talking about is age. He said, I, I uh, look in the mirror, and every morning, it tells me the truth. He said, I look in the mirror, gone is my youth. I look at the mirror, and it tells me the truth. See, in other words, the mirror telling me, many man, they can walk in the truth. When I look in the mirror now, I don't see that young 20-year-old guy that I used to know. Oh, he long gone. I'm looking at a one that just about to hit 60 now. I thought I used to think the day when it would would never come where I would be at this place where I am now. But be be very, very, very sure that it will come. It will come. And then it's gonna be over then, as far as your youth are youth is concerned. But while you are young, I'm soliciting and I'm 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 this I'm I'm giving y'all a nugget. Do what you can do while you're young, while you're strong. So when you do get to become of age, you don't have to be decrepit when you get older. I ain't saying that. Because a lot of people, uh, they, 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 they better in their older years than they were when they were 25 and 30. Now, I, I, I know people right now in their 90s that can get around just as good as people in their teens almost to a degree. When you look at them, you wouldn't tell nothing wrong with them. You can be that way also, but what I'm saying is, there is a time for all things, and in your youth, you got the strength. Therefore, you can put your strength toward your goals and your aspirations and your dreams, and you go on and invest in that denial while you're young and build it, so that when you get to the come to this age, you can kind of look back and say, "Okay, I'm gonna cruise now." Why? Because you done things in the right proper way while you was young. You didn't you didn't weigh yourself out on drugs and alcohol like some of us did. I'm just gonna be honest with you, me included. We we, we strung ourselves out using the alcohol and the drugs and stuff. And it introduced a lot of health problems that we wouldn't have never had had we not done it. That's alright though, because see, first of all, there are no one without skeletons in the closet. But y'all young people, do what you can right now. This Deacon Walker talking to the youth now, and any y'all. Y'all just continue to do what you're doing. Listen to your quiet, listen to your youth director. Listen to your music director. Listen to old Deacon Walker. Listen to your elders, all your elders. Make certain that you listen to them. Give them respect. You may not agree with everything they say, but at least give them the respect. And make certain that you follow the, the leadership of the church. Don't, don't, don't. If 
if you can't have it, don't hurt it. In other words, do that and you will be all right. I didn't mean to say all that, but thank God I did. And it, if I said it, it must be needed. So until the next time, kids, y'all just keep on keeping up the good work. Uh, keep on listening to your youth directors, Kath Allen Thorn. Make certain that you do what she asks you to do as well as her assistants. Her assistants are uh, Sister Courtney Murphy, uh, Courtney Gilbert Murphy. Listen to her as well. Listen to all of them and I when I um when I'm uh when I'm first lady come in, her name is Sister Terrell Williams, that's the first lady. Make sure you respect her. Give her, her her respect as the first lady. Do all those things and I guarantee it'll go well with you a long way. And you will be liked by most people. Everybody's not going to like you. I'm not going to tell y'all kids that. No, everybody's not going to like you. Believe it. Now remember, they didn't like Jesus. We're in the season now getting ready for Resurrection Sunday. Remember, Jesus was put on the cross and he didn't do no wrong. He was put there because he refused to act like everybody else. You're going to be treated the same way. There are going to be a lot of people, though, going to come to you. But I'm just letting you know, I'm letting you know now that everybody is not going to be for you. Please, young people, listen. Everybody, regardless of how good you try to do and good you try to be, there are going to be still some people that's not going to like you. Don't you worry about that. You just keep doing the right thing. If they don't come around, that's on them. But don't let it hinder you. So with that being said, this old Deacon Walker here, Mitty Man. Also, Junior Walker of Junior Walker and the soon coming Tritone, if the Lord will. We are about to get that group. I'm After 10 years of work, I might be finally finna get that group off the ground. We'll see though, y'all. Y'all keep on praying for Deacon Walker, Mitty Man. Junior Walker, Triton, that we would come on and be a success. Not to be traveling all over the world and stuff like that now, people. We don't got too old for that. But just to make a difference, don't ever stop learning and stop trying to be of a, be of a, a good resource for somebody. It might be somebody. Everybody don't have to go to California and New York and do some saying. You might just be needed. In, you are needed in the local area, but a lot of people don't know it. I just leave that at that. So with that being said, we get to thank God for every one of you and each one of y'all keep y'all stay blessed, remain blessed, and keep on keeping on. Until the next video, next Bible study, this is old Deacon Mitty Man, Deacon Ernest J. Walker. We're going to sign off and say good morning to all of you. Peace. Good morning.